Hey, what is up everybody? Jason here. Today we're going to take a look at my latest Lego creation, which is this small model of two dolphins leaping out of the water. The idea for this model was born probably over a year ago when I got a couple of these dolphins in a Lego Friends set, and I thought it would be cool to build a model of them swimming through the water. So I started tinkering with some options, and the most obvious way of getting the dolphins to follow an arcing path was to mount them at the end of a bar rotating around an axle so the dolphin just spins around in a circle. And this is really quite simple and kind of cool, but in order to get a nice shallow arc, which is what I had in mind for this model, you need to make the circle quite large, and the larger you make that circle, the taller the stand needs to be to house it. And I do really like the movement this results in, but for this model I wasn't interested in building this enormous stand, so I kind of shelved the idea for a bit, and fast forward to earlier this year, I decided to dust it off and work on it some more. This time I started playing around with this dual crank mechanism, which consists of two offset crankshafts supporting these platforms that the dolphins are mounted on. The way it works is that the front of each platform is connected directly to the front crank, and the back of the platform just freely rests on the rear crank. And that way you can vary the offset between the crankshafts to subtly affect the resulting motion. For example, if the crankshafts are completely in sync, the platform will always be horizontal throughout the rotation. But if the front crank leads the rear crank in its rotation, we get this nice shallow arcing motion, which is what I was trying to achieve. And if you experiment with different offsets, you can get some other interesting movement out of it. Or adjust how much of an arc you actually want. As far as the dolphins go, I actually quite like this dolphin mold. But one drawback is that they are quite wide, and would require a 4 stud wide gap in the water surface. And I really wanted to minimize that gap so that it wouldn't be as obvious, so I decided to brick build the dolphins so that they could fit through a two stud wide gap. And of course you can design your own animals or things to put on the platforms. I also designed a couple of killer whales and some shark fins. I also have Emmett holding on for dear life with some creative positioning so that he actually fits through the gap. And I even have Shark Boy here, though I did have to remove his arms for him to fit straight through. As you can see, you can do some fun things with it, and I'm looking forward to tinkering with the mechanism a little bit more to see what else it could be used for. I've created building instructions for this model, which you can find over at jkbrickworks.com. As always, thanks for watching, keep on building, and I'll see you in the next one.